What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm doing a redstone tutorial for you guys. I haven't been able to do it lately because I've been working on our server a lot. And I've been just, I've recorded this about three times and uh, lost it because the recording was terrible. Had a bunch of lag in it and uh, I just had to trash it. So uh, I'm just going to basically show you guys how to do the T flip flop today. It's getting dark out. Uh, Alright, so this is a T flip flop. What it does is allows your redstone current to stay on, just stay powered. So basically, you hit the button and it will keep your redstone current powered. You hit it again and it will turn the current off. Pretty simple. Pretty easy to make. Um, all you have to do basically is you need three building blocks, whatever you want. Or no, you need five building blocks. Sorry, whatever you want. And uh, let's get started here. You want to build it. You're gonna build like an upside down L shape, just like this. You're gonna dig one hole out and put a redstone torch in the center. Make sure it's in the center on there. And put a uh, regular piston, just like that. Redstone torch on the side, redstone torch on this side, and piston again, make sure they're both facing inward. And we're going to put redstone dust on the top. Put another block there, redstone dust. And you can make it wherever you want. Just going to make it right here, and you put your button right on that block. Let me turn my volume down. There. So, then you run around back here and you're going to see how this piston is pushing over the open space with the torch. You're going to put redstone down. You're going to run it wherever you want your uh, item that you want to be activated. It can be a, to a door, piston, TNT, whatever you want. In this case, it's just a door. And uh, you hit the button, and it will activate your current. So basically, what happens here is when you hit this button, this redstone will be powered, and one of the torches will turn back on just a bit faster. So watch closely here. It was the um, the left side that time. Now it's going to be the right side. Just it's barely noticeable. You can barely notice that this one turned on faster, which allows it to push that block over and uh, disconnect the redstone current. And uh, when that goes back on, it pushes the block over, connecting the redstone current, allowing it to flow into your door or whatever you're using. So you can go ahead and make a trap out of this with TNT. Don't want to trash the whole place just yet. You can do uh, sticky pistons. It'll keep it open. You can do whatever with it. You can also, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, you can, you definitely can use redstone lamps. There you go. Let's see what else we can use. We can use dispensers. I think we might be able to use some nook blocks. Let's try that out. No. Oh, wait. Try this again. Yeah, you can use no blocks as well. So uh, anything that gets powered from redstone, you can basically use that with a T flip flop and keep it on, keep it powered 24 7. As long as your server is up, I think redstone turns off while the server is down and it lags a little bit and uh, sort of glitches out when you turn the server back on. I'm not really sure. Uh, it might be different for single player world, but uh, that's it for this tutorial, guys. If this helped you or if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a thumbs up and if you're new, remember to subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.